diagram shows part of the curve C with the equation y equals 2x to the power 3 over 2 minus 6x plus 10, where x is greater than or equal to 0. The curve passes through the point A, which has got the coordinates 1, 6, and it has a minimum turning point at B. So that's making me think that dy by dx, the gradient, is equal to 0 at point B. Part A, show that the x-coordinate of B is 4. OK, so we are talking about point B, the turning point. So I'm going to differentiate my function and make it equal to 0 to find where the gradient equals 0. So differentiating the 2x to the power 3 over 2, we're going to multiply by the power. So multiply by the 3 over 2. 2 times 3 over 2 is 3. So we get 3x. And we're going to take 1 away from the power now. So take 1 away from the 3 over 2. And we get a half. Differentiating the minus 6x will just be minus 6. And the 10 will differentiate to be 0. So that's my gradient function, and I'm going to make that equal to zero. Because it's t uh, we're looking for the minimum turning point. I'm going to add six to both sides here. I'm going to divide both sides by three. And then if I square both sides to get rid of that square root, to get rid of the power of a half, I've shown that x is equal to 4 at point B. Um, whilst I'm at it, I'm also going to work out the y coordinate of point B. The question doesn't tell, tell me to, but I think I'm going to need it for, part, uh, for the next part of the question anyway. So if I take the x coordinate as 4 and substitute it in here and here, so 2 times 4 to the power 3 over 2, Minus 6 times 4 plus 10 is 2. Right, let's have a look at part C then, or rather part B. The finite region R, shown shaded in the diagram, is bounded by the curve and the straight line AB. I need to find the exact area of that shaded region. Now, I know that if I were to integrate between x is 1 and x is 4, that would tell me the area underneath the curve between those points, so this yellow area here. And if I then take that away from the trapezium, this trapezium here, so if I do that trapezium, take away the yellow area here, that's going to leave me with the shaded area that I need to find. So let's do that. Let's find that yellow area first of all by this yellow area here. By integrating between 1 and 4, my curve 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 6x plus 10 with respect to x. So, we're going to add 1 to the power, so add 1 to the 3 over 2, we're going to get 5 over 2, and then divide by that new power. We'll simplify that in a minute. We're then going to add 1 to the x power of here, and we'll then divide by the 2, and the 10 will integrate to be 10x. Simplifying this, the 2 divided by 5 over 2 is going to be 4 over 5, or 4 fifths. The 6 divided by 2 is 3. Right, let's substitute our limits in then. So we've got 4 fifths 
of 4 to the power 5 over 2, minus 3 times 4 squared plus 10 times 4. Then I'm going to subtract what I get when I substitute the lower limit of 1 in. So 4 fifths times 1 to the power 5 over 2, minus 3 times 1 squared plus 10 times 1. which is going to give me 9.8. So that is my yellow area. Right, what about the trapezium? So this big green trapezium here. Well, remember that the formula for the area of the trapezium is a half a plus b times h, where a and b are the parallel lengths and h is the distance between them. In this case here, my a is 6 because it's the y coordinate of point a. And b is 2 because it's the y coordinate of point b. And h is the distance between them, which is 3. So half of 6 plus 2 times 3 is 12. So the area of the green trapezium is 12. Therefore, the shaded area is going to be the trapezium, take away the area underneath the curve, which is 2.2. .2.